While in Maramara, we spent some time with Uncle Billy, who's an elder of the Kuma people, who lives at Bendy Downs. Uncle Billy spent some time with us, showing us places along the creek line in Bendy Downs, including fish traps, grinding grooves, and other sites where his people had lived, had gathered food, had camped. And he asked me why we were there. And I explained that we were engineers who had come to learn more about Aboriginal culture. And he told me that he'd left school when he was 13 years old to go and work as a stockman. He said he didn't have much education. He didn't know how to read and write that well. But he didn't care because he was doing the things that he wanted to do. He was out in the bush where he belonged. And I said to him that he still knows a lot. And we'd actually come there to learn from him. He looked at me. He said, nah, not me. Uncle Dave, Nash, Nefertiti, Cheryl, Uncle Jeff, not me. I said, yeah, Uncle Billy, you too. And he looked at me. He smiled. He drew himself up just that little bit straighter. And as I looked at this old man with his Kanamala fella hat, who spends time along the creeks at Bendy Downs looking for sites where his ancestors had lived, wandering the creeks that his grandma and his ancestors were a part of. This man who sits drinking billy tea with his wife in the afternoon at a place where the spirits feel present to him. I thought, I wonder how many times in this man's life he's been told by white fellas that he is of value. <laughs>